Hi, I'm Jan Dolzer, Product Manager for the Sud Instrument P2000 laser-based micropipette probe. What I'm going to show you today is something you can think of as the birth of a glass pipette. We have taken a very close look at the events that take place as a quartz glass capillary is heated and then pulled into a patch pipette. And then we have captured this exciting process on film. By looking at these events and understanding them in detail, we will go a long way towards becoming proficient pipette cooks, which enables us to create our own pipettes and shape them the way we actually need them. Going forward, we will produce a series of tutorial videos that will show and deal with what happens if you change individual parameters of the pull program. The title of the series is Program 71, simply because that's the program number that we used during the production of the video footage. Today we will set the baseline, that is, we will show what happens if you pull glass of a particular specification with a sample program, that's program number one, what you'll get is a patch pipette. The tutorial videos will then use that as a starting point and show what happens if you change the parameters one at a time. We have also produced an introductory video that explains the point of view of the camera in those close-up shots of the pipettes in the process of being pulled. So if you find yourself going I have no clue what I'm looking at here. Go to our website or take a look at our YouTube channel and find a video called Tutorial Intro. That will make things much clearer. Your puller comes pre-programmed with a two-line sample program in position 1, which can be used as a good starting point for pulling patch pipettes from 1mm quartz glass. Should the sample program have been overwritten, you can copy the parameters from the subtitle here. We are viewing the pipette from the back of the puller, above the axis of the laser beam. As the quartz capillary is heated, it starts glowing white, and only then it becomes pliable. The first pull draws the capillary to an hourglass. The second pull separates the glass after a very short heating time. All this happened too fast for most of us to follow. So let's take a closer look at a few details of the pull. During the initial heating phase, dust particles light up first. Even though the capillary in this video was clean, small dust particles can be completely avoided with reasonable effort. In the video, they help us judge movement of the glass. In this slow motion clip, individual frames are 16.7 milliseconds apart. When the glass is glowing white, the weak pull starts drawing the halves of the capillary apart, and the hourglass begins to form. Note how the narrow section of the hourglass has already darkened and hardened while material is being pulled from the shoulders which are still brightly lit. The final hourglass of the first pull measures 6.5 mm shoulder to shoulder. In the second pull the pipettes are separated after only a short flashing glow in the center of the hourglass. Here's a shot of another pull with the same parameters and brighter illumination. The frame rate is 100 Hz this time. Individual frames can be visually separated now. While the glowing of the glass cannot be seen as clearly, the glass itself is better to see under the brighter illumination. But even with the higher frame rate, the second pull only covers 3 to 4 frames. Let's focus on the formation of the hourglass during the first pull and on how the hourglass relates to the tape of the final pipettes. Here's the original video again. After the hourglass has formed, an image of the final pipette is superimposed and aligned at the shoulders. Note how the pipette tip extends more than 1 mm into the other side. A close-up shows a smooth taper with an angle of about 1.5 degrees all the way to the tip. There's only a hint of a shoulder from the second pull, just above the marker in the center of the frame. At higher magnification under the microscope, the very tip of the pipette becomes visible. The diameter of the pipette opening is of the order of 1 micron, more easily resolved looking down the actual microscope than captured on camera. Now let's take a look at the right side and see whether the pull has produced symmetrical pipettes. Again, the image of the final pipette is superimposed and aligned on the video. The tip protrudes about 1mm to the left of the center just as the other side did. And the pipette is virtually a mirror image of the left half. Now that we have learned how to pull a patch pipette with a sample program, go out and do it. Keep in mind that 
program one only works with the glass that we have used today. If you use a different type of glass, your results may and will vary and they may need some fine tuning even if you use this same type of glass. Enjoy, have fun. Stay tuned for a series of tutorial videos that show the effect of changes in individual parameters. Check out our website or our YouTube channel for a growing collection of tutorial videos. If you need any tech support, go to www.sutter.com or give us a call at plus one four one five eight eight three zero one two eight.